Hi everyone, Johnny here from the State Library of Victoria. Welcome to the first of our Creators series. Uh, this is a series of videos to support people using creative technology for all kinds of different projects and endeavors. Um, some of them will be focused on um, digital creations like audio and video and maybe other kinds of uh, creative projects as well in future. Today we're going to look at how to reduce background noise in an audio recording. So you know ideally you would record in a very quiet acoustically treated space like a studio but that's not always possible. Uh, you might be recording in, in your home where it's a little bit noisy um, or you might be recording with a device, well, and or you might be recording with a device like an iPhone or something like that, which is inherently quite noisy, the recordings that you get from it. Um, so that's the example we're going to be working with today is a recording from an iPhone. Um, the tool we're going to use is Audacity. So Audacity is a free audio editing program um, which is available for Mac and PC. It's really great, really handy, easy to use. Um, so download that and um, once you've got your audio into there, well I should say once you've got it downloaded you need to get your audio into there. So to do that you open the program and you go File and import audio. We're going to import this little audio file here. So this is a recording of my son um, who is four years old and is trying to learn about the world of jokes. Um, we're also doing renovations on our house at the moment so he's been watching you know demolition happen and, and things get smashed down so let's have a listen to this audio of him attempting a joke. What do roofs do when they're smashed? I don't know. What do roofs do when they're smashed? Ah! This is a joke with no punchline. So, um, you might have heard there's quite a little, quite a bit of noise in the background of this. Um, and what's extra helpful <clears throat> for this particular trick is there's also a section around here of the audio where there's no one speaking. Um, my son's got a couple of kind of breaths <laughs> in that space but there's, there's also a gap between those breaths and that's what you need to do this trick. You need to have a little slice of the recording which is only the noise that you want to remove. That's not always going to be the case so you might not be able to do this trick sometimes but as a rule of thumb when you're recording audio in future it's a good idea to to wait a couple of seconds or, or, or longer at the end before you hit stop um, just to capture a little bit of the environment and the ambient noise around you in case you do want to do a trick like this. So yeah, basically what we need to do is we need to find a little section that we can hear only the noise and not the desired sound. So let's have a listen over here. That's pretty good. We had a little bit of Elliot's breath at the end there, so I'll just select again. Um, oh, Elliot, that's my son. Um, so yeah, basically we've now got captured a little bit of the noise that we want to remove. And then we then need to go up to here to the effect. So we go effect, noise reduction. And we're going to get this window up here and it's very simple to use Audacity. A lot of other programs would um, be less clear and plain with the descriptions of these kind of uh, effects and processes. It says select a few seconds of noise so Audacity knows what to filter out. So we've already done that. And then we say here get noise profile. So it closes but it hasn't done the trick, the job yet. Um, basically it's only done step one which is to um, uh, get the noise print. We then need to go back into the same effect, so effect and noise reduction. And we can preview what it's going to sound like. Oh, actually, I missed a step, which is we need to then select all of the audio. So we don't want to, so just click and drag across it all. We don't want to just be affecting that little selection we had before. So, yeah, effect, noise reduction. Then we have a preview option down here and we can listen to how it's going to sound. What do roofs do when they're smashed? I don't know. What do roofs do when they're smashed? So it does a really good job straight out of the gate, um, for especially for a free program. You can tweak it. Um, you can increase the amount that it's reducing that background noise, but you might need to be somewhat careful with this. 
um, if, well, we'll ramp it right up and have a look. It's probably, the, if you ramp it up too high, it's probably going to remove some of the, the sound that we do want. What do roofs do when they're smashed? I don't know. What do roofs do when they're smashed? So you could hear there when we ramped it up, um, when I came in and I was speaking, it was sort of um, reducing up and down my voice. It didn't sound so great. So we'll back that back off. Um, sensitivity, uh, it does a similar thing. Frequency, smoothing, basically that means um, if you do ramp up the, the noise reduction and you start to get little artifacts, so they might be like kind of little clicks or gaps or weird sounds in the sound, you can smooth it out. We don't really need to in this case. Um, and residue can be quite useful as well. If we switch to residue, what it's doing there is it's, it's letting us hear just the sound that we want to remove. Um, so that can be quite a good way to do it if you're having trouble getting it to work well in, in this case as i say it's working great straight out of the straight out of the gate but um sometimes you might have to play around and tweak a bit more if you want to you can try switching to residue adjusting some of these settings until it um it doesn't let you hear any of the sound you do want to keep um because that's the sound you're going to remove but let's go back to reduce listen again what do roofs do when they're smashed I don't know. What do roofs do when they're smashed? And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to process by pressing OK. And now we can listen to the cleaned up audio. What do roofs do when they're smashed? I don't know. What do roofs do when they're smashed? Ah! This is a joke with no punchline. <laughs> And just for comparison, if we undo that, we'll play again the noisier audio. What do roofs do when they're smashed? I don't know. What do roofs do when they're smashed? Ah! This is a joke with no punchline. So if any of you were having trouble hearing the difference between the two, um, I should have said at the beginning, really, it's important that you wear headphones for this video. Um, so yeah, put on some headphones and go back and listen again. But yeah, I think once you've got a pair of headphones and you can hear it quite clearly, you'll see it, it does have a big impact on the sound and it does a really good job, um, especially for a free tool. So that's just a fairly quick one for today. We're going to have more of these creators videos coming soon. Um, again, if you'd like to see more of this kind of content from us, please go to our Ask SLV page and fill out the form there asking what kind of content and services you would like to see from us in the future. We'll put a link to that um, next to the video. Thanks for watching.